to try to keep up with uh, Tehran. <laughs> Well, I thought we were physical. I, I thought we were able to run the football. Um, loved the way we came out and responded in the second half with uh, not having a very good first half. That was fun to watch. Uh, we kind of settled down. Uh, still got to take care of the football. You know, I think field position was such a huge factor early in the game. Kickoff return that we gave up. And, it seemed like they were always just at an advantage from a, a field position, and then you know, looked like that changed starting with the opening uh, you know, kickoff return, and then being able to score, and then go down there and hit them in there. So those were some good things. How did you feel like when we came to the extended battle? Well, I thought there were some good things. I mean, I think obviously the you know, putting the ball in harm's way, uh, but but I saw them progress through. I saw them make some some plays when there was some time. You know, we had some drops that hurt them. So uh, there, there, there's, uh, it's a collective uh, group when you talk about quarterback play, especially young quarterback play, you know, having time to, but there were some cool things in the second half where guys gave him some time. He progressed through, hit Racy uh, there on third down. And, and then I just, I liked his decisiveness and, and using his athletic ability and, you know, committing when, when he did decide to, to scramble, which you know, he has to, you know, that has to be part of his game. Such a dynamic player that when it's not there and those opportunities present themselves, whether it's 30 yards on a scramble down the sidelines or a 30 yard completion, you know, it's 30 yards. So a lot of things to improve, but but I thought you know sitting there and getting those guys operating in the four minute it was really good. How you like that you're able to get out of the Western game? Eight, eight yards to carry, uh, just that seven. Sure, you know, and then Jacquez came in there and Mason got a couple rushing yards and Malik and, you know, it's good. You know, it's great. It, it helps us control the football game and you know, wanted to get Tajay some carries early and, and obviously reward Julius uh, for the way that he's been practicing and, and how he carries himself. So it was great to see those guys take advantage of the opportunity. Well, you know, he had shown some good rushes. I thought he had a good couple of days here uh, with, with the exposure that he had uh, in practice. Told him to keep keep that coming. There'd be a lot of things that, that we need to clean up, but you know, certainly uh, some, some good pressures there by Caleb. It seems like the O-line did a little bit better job of protecting the sweep or reversing pressure. How they did? Well, they were probably in there a little longer than I wanted them to be. It took them a little while to get going, but sometimes that's how it goes. Not always going to be perfect every week, and especially to start the game. But you know, I felt like they responded and went down and were able to give us a touchdown there. With, with Caleb Murphy, how do you feel he's transitioned from playing you know, deep? Oh, there, there's there's some awareness things that, that need to just to continue to improve. Uh, I think he's shown the ability to, to pass rush at certain levels, you know, to, to have some extra. You know, some, some moves that work, reduce the surface area, really cool rush and making a move inside move on the tackle tonight. Um, but I do think that there's some awareness things, just bigger football picture things that he needs to continue to work on, but he will and love his attitude. And certainly uh, showed up tonight with a, with a couple pressures. I know Torque was a little bit active early too, but did you want to get him some work since he's a little bit thirdier than you know, he missed a lot early. He missed a lot Thursday, Jim. And so, work on Thursday, or you can work on Saturday, but you know, work. Is it something I'm returning with Kyle? Is there any updates there? Uh, no updates other than trying to protect the guy with the ball better. Well, I was happy with the physicality after we got going. You know, I think it did take us, a, you know, you can't start the game, you know, three and out, you know, first possession. And, you know, just took us a little while to get going, but then eventually I felt like things were starting to click and then you build some confidence and momentum. So take a look at the, the game tape and uh, make corrections. You got a big week coming up here with New England. What's, you know, what's, the, what's, the, what's the challenge you know, like the national? Physically, see where we're at. You know, 
don't know how good that'll be. Um, and then come out there on, on Tuesday, you know, come bring them in Monday, you know, 10 o'clock, give them some chance to try to get some rest, some recovery, try to get a lift in and, and then you know, prepare for our practices against New England. Well, now he's safe with Will and still going to kind of get him to go through pregame and, and do everything he could without playing? Um, yeah, I think just trying to make a decision in the best interest of, of the player and, and the team. And so you know, had him warm up and decided that uh, probably be best if, if he didn't play. How hard was Mason, Mason lobbying to throw the ball in the Mason wasn't going to throw the ball. But <laughs> he'll tell you in there, I'm sure, that he wanted to throw it. That's good. Thanks, guys. Uh, we won, so that's a, that's a plus. From your standpoint, getting through four quarters, though, and kind of having extended work, how do you feel like everything went? I think the first half, uh, we just had a little few details to clean up. Uh, the second half, we came out. Everybody was violent, physical, went out there, and we scored some points. So that was good. Do you ever do some things with your legs, too? I mean, what's the balance like when you can do that and keep drive alive? Uh, it helps. It helps uh, not only myself, but it helps the whole offense. As we can get going, we can convert some first downs or some third downs, some second downs, and we just keep staying in front of the sticks. That's what we didn't do in the first half. Pretty much. Coach Rabel had mentioned you know, how important it is for you to still make plays with your leg. Like, how much does that help you, you know, get into that groove and do what you need to do? Uh, it helps a lot because uh, at first I was trying to make sure I was staying in the pocket and uh, just making sure I give everybody opportunity. And sometimes he's telling me, like, maybe me getting out of there is better than throwing the check down. You know, uh, but that's just going to be me finding a balance between that. And yeah, Rabel's talked about, used the word decisive, talking about your running. Is that something you've been working on, being more decisive about throw versus run? Not really, no. First two drives, so you, you guys went three and out. The third drive, the offensive line really seemed to get it together. I mean, what was the difference with that group on that third drive? Uh, we just co really communicated at halftime, and we uh, put it in our heads that we wanted to uh, own the front line. We wanted to own the line and uh, just go out there and be very physical and violent. And, with the, and whatever run was called, we just could try to go execute it to the best of our ability. How much did you help you as a whole, the two joint practices, and then today? I mean, how, how big of a week was this for you, maybe for the team, too? It was pretty cool to see a different type of defense. Uh, they were giving us different stuff at practice than they did in the game. So that was awesome to see just a switch up like that and uh, understand that, you know, just once you come in the game and you see how they're trying to play, you get a better understanding than just thinking you know what's going down based off of, you know. On the interception, can you take us through that? Did you kind of think like 45 was going to drop back with Robertson? Yeah, he was supposed to, He well, he was. He was running with the yeah. vertical route. And uh, there was supposed to be a window there, but. He made a great play. It's just, it happens sometimes. Well, was that something like predetermined for you to, to go there, or did you just? No, his back was turned, gotcha. literally. Like, he, race, he was supposed to come right into that window, uh, but he kind of throttled a little bit, and he turned around after he seen him, and it just was a bad play. I just got to get down to my check down. Malik, as much has been made about the offensive line here in the last year, it's kind of nice to see those guys being successful as they were. You guys, once you have running game going, and you want to yours a lot. Yes, sir. Uh, they did a great job. Uh, they were real focused all week, uh, trying to block however the Vikings try to play us. And uh, it worked out in the game. And they, they came out there being physical and violent. And they, uh, they did a great job. What did Mason come out there getting a few snaps of quarterback? And did you, did you kid him a little bit about him going back to his high school days? Playing for what was that like, him Mason did? Oh, he had, he had a great time. He, he enjoyed that a lot. Yeah. yeah. And he was just super excited all week about it. So. Did you get a good look at Ty Chase Hurdle? Yeah, I did. That was a great play. Uh, he did a great job tonight. He really ran the ball. That's good. Yep. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lee.